Hello, friends and followers. Here's the uh, Drake MS4 speaker I have on eBay and the uh, Drake R4A receiver. This is the 4 series from Drake and this thing's probably around 1965. This one's been restored to nearly perfect condition. I've taken it all apart, cleaned everything, lubricated the PTO, put in uh, the new Drake look, the new filter paper in there, which is actually um, used in uh, production sets for plays and things with aqua color. I put LED bulbs in there that are perfectly white, cleaned all the controls, calibrated everything, done a full alignment on this radio. So let's go through how it sounds. First of all, it sounds pretty good with the MS4 speaker and I have this radio on an antenna, 80 foot um, end fan antenna to the outside of the house. So let's go through it. So right now it's around it's around 5 p.m. and 80 meters is not active, but we'll start off at 80 meters. So let's go through the controls on this thing. I just went through the band switch on this thing and cleaned the band switch. I took the bottom of the radio part, gave the band switch a uh, detox it again, just because it radio has been sitting about uh, six months, five months. So I detoxed the band switch again and it works flawlessly. So let's go through it. First of all, what do the controls do? Well, if you had crystals in here, you could actually then use a crystal offset to change the band segment the radio works in. There are currently no crystals in here, so you put it on normal NOR. These settings are for turning the radio on to standby, which simply is like, like mute, basically, or turn it off. We'll go to on. You can use an external mute on the radio on the uh, mute line. Noise blanker is not in here, and the calibrate is for calibrating the uh, radio. This control here is for the um, basically the bandwidth. There are LC filters in here, and you can crank these down. 4.8, 2.4, 1.2, 0 0.4. We'll go through those. This basically is your, is your um, I wouldn't say it's your pass band. This basically is your intercept for your BFO. So it'll change out how the BFO reacts with the uh, signal. Um, that's pretty much zero, upper side band and lower side band. And you use these little markings here, the little sweeps. The long sweep goes with 4.8. It'll sweep like this. Um, oh, I'll show you how that works. So let's go to a signal here and turn the volume up. And you'll hear it sweep through. And on the, whoa, too busy on here. There we go, on 2.4. And if it's working right, it'll sound the same. So when you go upper and lower here, it should sound about the same, and that means it's calibrated correctly. 1.2 the same way. And the smallest filter we have here for real tight CW. So that's how that works. Now, when you use an R R4A or B, you want to basically peak with the RF preselector. I think the R4C is the same way. So if we went 80 meters here and pre-select 80 meters and then turn the volume up, you want to peak it for static. Lower sideband right about there and you can look for a signal. Nothing on this early. So then we go to 40 meters. Pre-select at 40. There's 40 right there, and now you'll hear something. So 40 meters starts, 7.3 and down. Well, you might hear some AM on here. Some foreign stations, like that. Not very strong yet. Sounds like a soccer game. Okay, so that's AM. SSB.
There's a nostalgic value to this stuff, right? Week, um, when Dave was over with his little radio and all that, so I didn't ask him about that. I don't know. Uh, And you can take down the bandwidth on sideband, but it wouldn't sound as nice. On weak side band, you can decrease the bandwidth. And you can make it sound nice. It's pretty good. FT8. And some CW, nothing on. Okay, so 20 meters, just simply go to 20 here and dial it up like that, pre select it. There's FT8 on 20 meters. That's 20 meters. Let's try 15 meters now. 15 and 15. Woo! 
FT8 is working well. ACW, there's some. Now you can try the filter and watch how good this works. Even the extreme 1.4 works. It's a pretty good copy. ABC, you can see it's fast with the meter going fast with the CW and very slow. AM mode. ABC off. That's kind of cool. There's not much going on. A little bit of action on 15 meters. Let's try 10 meters. 10 is probably dead, but let's give it a try. Pick it up. Yeah, Roger, Roger. Please, you know, uh, biggest stage, right? Uh, this is the name of the place, like, 10 years ago. 
Cook North. Right. Three still. How are you doing? So it sounds like Australia is uh, making it to Las Vegas, and I can even hear a one station in Massachusetts on 10 here, so the radio is pretty hot for 10. Yeah, you know, all the time, but uh, uh, he's had a lot of problems, health problems, so he's got back onto it, so uh, I guess the, the wire antenna just fits in the yard, and that's it, over. So 10 meters is uh, working well on this radio. Back to 15 meters here and see how that sounds. Anyway, that's my tour of the radio here. It's pretty nice. Works really well. And it's also good for rag chewing on 40 meters. Sometimes there's there's AM people up here running around. Let's see. Not today. No. So shut the fuck up and just kill yourself, you worthless piece of fucking shit. Holy shit. I'll rip your head off and shit down your neck. So here's the uh, California hams that tend to have mental problems. Yeah, I know, I know. Thank you. <laughs> I think it's an asshole IQ reply. Excuse me. I'm sorry. I'm out of control. I apologize for that. Are you got to be kidding me. W680 Southern Rock. So these guys apparently play recordings of each other swearing and stuff. They uh, it's rather old. 
I wish the FCC would uh, step in and enforce. But that's California. Can we talk about expressing my daughter's anal glands? Well, I know you can do that for a dog. It's fun. I touched a weenie. He throated it too. Anyway, this banter will continue on and off for gosh knows how long. Uh, getting uh, some mods done, so I, I thought I'd just uh, stay out of the beer shed, being in this shed. Uh, the side of the CBT, yeah. I recognize some of the names of uh, the... Uh,